Welcome to the Tandem Talk Show, where we help women dial in their nutrition and fitness so that they can lose fat, tone up, and transform their lives. And now your host from Tandem Nutrition, Coach G. Yo, hey, what is up, everyone? Welcome back to a brand new episode of the Tandem Talk Show. This is your host, Coach G, and I am excited for today's brand new episode. Uh, this podcast is the number one podcast for women who are wanting to lose body fat, tone up, and transform their lives in a healthy and sustainable way. And I'm excited to be bringing you an episode, an all new episode. Uh, this evening to give you value, to give you help, to help you achieve your goals in a healthy and sustainable way. So a little bit of a twist on today's topic. Tonight, we'll be talking about 10 essential tools that will help you make your fat loss journey not only easier, but also more effective. Okay, so 10 tools that you can use that will make your fat loss journey easier and more effective. So really excited to give you some insights on what we tell our clients to get to help them make their journey easier, to save them time, to save them money, to make cooking easier. So be sure to stay tuned throughout all of these 10 essential items and do not worry, <clears throat> in the show notes, I'll have a recording of links for each of these items as well. Hey, if you're joining me live right now, please comment below. Comment live below to let me know you're tuning in live. And thank you to everyone who has been supporting our podcast. It is my goal and is, I feel like it's my life's mission to give as much value as uh, a way for free uh, to help you in your goal and to just to help you throughout your journey. So thank you so much for your podcast. If you want to support our podcast, one big thing you can do is screenshot any episode, tag us on your IG stories at Tandem Nutrition. Just let us know you're tuning in and that'd be a huge, uh, huge help to us as we continue to impact more lives with the information we give on a daily basis. Okay, so let's jump in right into today's episode. As I mentioned, today's episode, we'll be covering 10 essential tools that can make your fat loss journey easier and more effective. So these are the exact tools that we give our clients to use. You know, when our clients set up with us in our program, we give them a welcome packet with a bunch of information. And um, a lot of that consists of, hey, this is what you need for your program. This will help you understand how to assess your progress. This will help you make meal prep easier. And this will also help us help you the best you can as well. So uh, this is information, again, that we give to our clients that we want to give you as well, just to make sure that you are getting some help and you're you have the right things in place right away from day one, so you're making the best progress possible. Okay, and like I mentioned, you know, as we go throughout to today's episode, do not worry about any specific brand names. I'll have those in the show notes. So if you have not yet subscribed to our podcast, if you're listening to this on our podcast, thank you. But if you have not yet subscribed to our podcast and you're tuning into our Facebook group. I go to uh, iTunes or Podbeam, Spotify, Pandora, and check out us on the Tandem Talk Show. That is the title of our podcast. Okay, so the first essential tool that you need when you're starting a weight loss journey is a body weight scale. Okay, now this may seem very simple, but this is a very important tool. It's not the only tool you'll need when it comes to assessing your progress, but it's one tool. Now, so many people think that the scale is the ultimate determinant of their progress, but that is not true. The scale, the scale is just one tool in your toolbox to assess your progress, okay? And we're, we're going to talk about some of those other tools today here as well. But the scale is one important tool. It tells you, as you know, how much you weigh each day. Now, when you're weighing in, Here's what we tell our clients and here's what you need to do to make sure that you're weighing in in the most accurate and consistent way to know if you're actually making progress. Number one, make sure that you weigh in at the same time every single day or around the same time, right? So typically we recommend our clients to, to weigh in in the morning upon waking after using the restroom and before eating or drinking something, okay? So 
that allows us to understand exactly how our weight is changing and that gives us the most reliable measure in their weight as well i remember one time um two or three years ago my mom was going throughout our tone up programs and she would i remember one day i had called her and she was just really frustrated she says Garrett, i'm up like three pounds and i don't know what i did and you know i started asking her some questions like hey you know what happened yesterday did you work out you know how are your bowel patterns are you stressed out um <clears throat> and then the last question i asked was well, well mom you know it's it's five o'clock right now what, what time did you weigh in this morning and she said well gary I, I didn't weigh in this morning i weighed in like 20 minutes ago i'm like oh that's right that is the reason why you're up a couple pounds so it's very important you have a scale and that you use that scale on a consistent time basis every single day or most days per week you know we know that everyone has a different relationship with the scale and we don't expect our clients to weigh in every day it, it's it's important it, it could be helpful to get multiple weigh-ins because when we get multiple weigh-ins we're able to get averages of your weight each week and those averages in comparing those averages from week to week will really help tell us how your weight is changing throughout the week. Like we, we very rarely, if ever, gauge progress on your day-to-day weigh-ins because naturally your body weight will go up and down, you know, one to three pounds every day, just because there's a lot of factors that can affect your weight on a day-to-day basis. So it's important to, uh, to weigh in at least two to three times some of our clients weigh in every day and that's okay you know other clients weigh in you know one to three times per week and i had one client one time five years ago and uh she's like listen uh me and the scale are not friends i'm like hey that's okay no worries and she said what i'm gonna do though is i'm gonna send you pictures every single week i'm like cool that's great and so every single week we did side by sides together and so know know that the scale isn't the only tool for progress but it is a very important tool for progress so that is tool number one getting a reliable body weight scale i prefer the uh the digital ones so that can be consistent with with weighing in and not having to watch a needle and i'll be sure to post the exact one i have in the show notes so be sure to check those out on apple itunes okay number two is a food scale A food scale is very, very important, especially if you are counting calories and macros throughout your program. A food scale will tell you exactly how much a food weighs in ounces, grams, and and even liquids in uh, in milliliters. I personally buy, I have the, it's called the Greater Goods Gray Food Scale. It's like $10 on Amazon. It has so many awesome reviews. Again, I'll post that link in the show notes. But a food scale will help you identify how much of a food you're eating. So you can most accurately put that in my fitness pal to help you understand exactly how many calories you consumed that day. Okay. So a food scale, and, and so let's talk about this food scale. Number one, when you use a food scale, it's important to once you weigh the food and you cook the food, it's important at that time to put that food into my fitness pal right away, right? One of the biggest mistakes that I see people make is that they'll use a food scale. Well, let's say, actually, let me go back. The biggest mistake people make is they don't use a food scale, but they're trying to ca- calculate calories. Your estimations are not correct. Okay. I'm probably not close. I don't mean to hurt your feelings, but if you're going to count calories, you have to be all in on this concept. Okay. If you're not using a food scale to see how how many calories or to see how much of a food weighs and you're putting that into my fitness pal you might as well not use my fitness pal okay because there's a lot of room for error by not getting those estimations correct so it's important that you use a food scale you use grams and ounces and use that data by putting that food in my fitness pal according to how much you consumed the second biggest mistake I see people make is they'll <clears throat> use the food scale. They're with the food. They'll have the meal, but they'll wait to the end of the day to put their food in. I don't know. I don't know about you. I do not have a great memory, and so I don't know how many I do. But like, I don't know how many. Let's say grams of chicken I had this morning, uh, this afternoon. Like, I I'm pretty robotic, so I I know this, but most people probably wouldn't know. Um, unless they're very routine in their schedule. So it's very important to have a food scale so you can 
accurately track the amount of calories you're eating in MyFitnessPal. That is so, so important. Okay. So that is tool number two. Tool number three is a measuring tape. So measuring tape will also allow you to assess your progress, but also help you assess your body composition. A lot of times when you are on your fat loss journey, you're losing body fat, you're gaining muscle mass, the scale may not change, but the tape and measuring your, your girth measurements, we have our clients measure their biceps, their waist, their hips, and also their thigh one time per week. And so this information will allow you to understand where you're losing body fat from, despite not seeing changes on the scale. So this is a very helpful tool. And I always tell our clients, just like weighing in, to measure in the mornings without eating or drinking anything. Because you know throughout the day, if you wait to measure at nighttime, there can be some natural distension that could occur from eating and drinking that could inflate those measurements around your waist. And you may think, well, maybe I'm getting some body fat, but that's not the case. You just may be feeling bloated. So to be very consistent with taking measurements in the mornings. And, and by the way, too, like if you want to keep it super simple as far as data tracking, we use an Excel sheet. It's super simple. We have like week one, week two, week three on these rows. And then across the rows, we put in the weight. And we, we average the weight. And also we, we also use Excel for tracking measurements as well. And so every four weeks, we're keeping track of measurements in inches. And that really helps us be consistent too. And we also recommend a self-tidying tape, okay? We recommend that, that you measure yourself because you'll always be with you, right? You'll always be with you. And if you rely on someone else to take your first set of measurements, and they're not there the first time or the next time, then then they may measure in different spots, you know, around the bicep or the waist, or they may be they may pull the tape a little a little more snug, and so that could give just some inaccurate measurements. So just some things to consider. Uh, that was number three. Number four is my fitness power. Any other calorie tracker. We're a big fan of MyFitnessPal. I use the free version and I have been since the last 13 years. I have not subscribed to the, to the premium version. And I would say 99% of our clients here at Tandem use the free version of MyFitnessPal. It is very helpful. The food data, database is very comprehensive and it allows tracking calories to be very easy with all the quick and easy tools it will give you. It, it remembers what you've eaten. So if you're like me and you eat the same foods every single day or most days per week, tracking calories really doesn't take that long of time because you just look for the food you consumed, you put it in there, and then you're done. Like you put the serving size. So it's, it's a really quick process. And just like with, with any habit, in the beginning, it could be a little daunting or intimidating. But once you are consistent with it, once you kind of like wire your brain to like know which buttons to press, it becomes very easy and it doesn't take up a lot of time. Okay, number five. Okay, so we have number one, a body weight scale. Number two, food scale. Number three, a measuring tape. And number four, my fitness pal. Five is, is an activity tracker. Okay, here is why this is important. It's important to know how much you move throughout the day. For our clients, we give them step goals, right? If they have trouble hitting their step goals, then we would then say, hey, let's let's talk about some, some purposeful cardio that you enjoy doing that can help you hit your step goal. And so an activity tracker is just another awareness tool that brings brings important information about how active you are. And in the past, I would you know go to Amazon and I'd buy these really cheap activity trackers for like 35 bucks. And you know, they were great. Like they they would last like three to four months and I'm like, I'm tired of buying the same ones over and over again. And so I invest into a Fitbit and the Fitbit has changed my life. I love it. And um, I had the Versa 2 and it tracks sleep and I love other like heart rate, things like that. So I really enjoy it. I didn't think I'd like, I'm, this is the first time I've ever bought like an expensive like watch. I've never owned an Apple watch either. 
Um, but I love, I love the Fitbit. Uh, I don't think I can own an Apple Watch because seriously, like when I'm focused at, you know, at my desk or doing emails or coaching, I personally don't want like my watch tell me I have text messages or phone calls or these alerts. So Fitbit is great for me because it helps us focus on steps and the time, the date, and also my sleep, which is really helpful. Okay, number six. Number six is a big one. Write this one down, okay? If there's one you write down, please write this down. You should be writing all these down because this is super helpful, at least to me and my clients. And I hope that you find – by the way, if you're finding value to today's episode and you're watching live with me, comment live, comment value in the comments below. Let me know you're tuning in and you're, you're getting value from today's podcast. I want to make sure that you're learning something new that you are learning something that can help you towards your goals in an easier way. That is my passion in, in this podcast. That is my goal for you. Okay, so the next one is an awesome, awesome tool. It is a meal plan generator, okay? So there's actually a website called eatthismuch.com, okay? It's called eatthismuch.com. It allows you to create as many customized meal plans as you want to according to your calorie goal and also – also, your favorite foods. There's a free version. There's also a paid version. It's like $4.99 per, 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 per month. Super cheap. Um, and what's really cool, too, is that not only will this give you meal plans for like for free, and also if you pay it, if you pay for it, it you, you'll get more elaborate meal plans, but it also gives you recipes for those meals and a shopping list. Like this is an incredibly helpful tool that has been so helpful for our clients that has helped them really understand how to fit different foods into their calorie and macro goals and have a plan to follow each day. Again, this is called eatthismuch.com. It's an amazing tool. Please go check it out. Like it is something we recently introduced to our clients and they love it. All right. Number seven, number seven, I'm a big fan of this. I love a good solid air fryer. Okay. So air fryer makes cooking, makes cooking very fast and very easy. When you're busy, you do not have a long time to cook. Like when I was in college, I would wait like 30, 40 minutes to cook chicken on the stove. I'm like, I don't have 30 or 40 minutes now to cook chicken. And especially when you cook in bulk, that's just more time. So I, I bought a Ninja air fryer. It has like dual baskets. So I can cook like chicken in bulk on one end. And then the other side has a separate basket. I can I can cook things like you know potatoes or like veggies, and it, it really it really it's really helpful for helping me batch cook and bulk cook at the same time. So an air fryer will save you time and clean up when it comes to cooking, especially if you cook in bulk. Which if you are meal prepping, cooking bulk will save you so much time. Okay, so the, an air fryer is one cooking tool I absolutely recommend. Okay. Number eight, number eight is very simple. Just one pair of dumbbells. When you go on, when, when you think about losing weight, you don't think about, I have to go to the gym. Okay. You you don't have to, we have a lot of clients who actually do not have gym memberships. And so having one or two pair of dumbbells can help you really focus on maintaining muscle mass and losing body fat throughout your journey. And you can get these through Amazon. If you have Prime, it'll be shipped free. In fact, I have a little stand of dumbbells in my room, in which is part of my morning routine, in which I get up and I try to move my body with some like push-ups and some sit-ups and some some like shoulder raises. So I try to get in get in some morning movement. And if I am if I'm just too booked for time, I'm I'm like, I just can't get to the gym today, or I, I just want an extra workout in, I use those dumbbells. And I do a metabolic circuit that is so, so helpful to help me get in a good workout while not having to go to a gym. So having dumbbells will help you get in a workout, not make excuses, and help you maintain muscle and lose fat, right? So if you are on a diet and you're not performing resistance training, you are putting your muscle at risk for loss. And that's not good um, because if you listen to this podcast, you know that when you lose muscle, you lose the strength of your metabolic rate, right? And that's not a good thing because you, you'll hit a plateau faster and you'll end up losing less weight overall. Okay, number nine is a good old alarm clock. You have to know a couple of things. When to get up on time to hit the gym, to be able to you know create meal prep, 
you know, cook your meals. I use an alarm clock for so many things, but especially getting up in the morning to make sure that I am getting ready for my day, preparing breakfast, preparing my meals, having everything I need for a successful day, knowing that anything I can get hit with could derail me. But if I'm prepared each day with a workout under my belt, with my meals in my lunchbox, with you know a good um, solid morning routine that helps me with my mindset, like I'm ready to take on the day. And when you start your day off in a powerful routine like that, you can take on anything and you'll be successful because if you don't take charge of your day and if you sleep in until 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. and you're not meal prepping, you're not getting things ready, you are setting yourself up for failure. It's so important to make sure that you get up on time. And if you need an alarm clock on your phone, and by the way, I do not encourage you to sleep. At least me, one of my worst habits was I would go to bed with my phone. I'd like play on like YouTube, watch like um, I, I'm a big fan of watching comics on uh, like comedians on YouTube because I didn't have a TV until like last week. <clears throat> have not plugged it in yet though. But uh, I would spend so much time before bed and in the morning before I got out of bed on my phone. I wasted so much time. And that was time I could be putting effort towards getting in steps, reading, doing meal prep, et cetera. So make sure you are you have a tool on hand that will help you get up when you need to to have a successful day. Last one is a handy dandy water bottle. Water is so crucial for health and for weight loss. And one of the easiest ways to track your intake is by having a water bottle on hand. So that's absolutely something I recommend because it will help you track how much water you need each day or how much water you're drinking and how much water you're drinking compared to your needs as well. It's portable. You can take it where you go and you can never make the excuse that you don't have time to drink enough water because your water bottle will always be with you. Okay. I have like, this is one of my favorite ones right here. If you're watching live, it's like a 32 ounce bottle and I fill this up five to six times a day. And I know about how many times I filled up and how many ounces I've, I've consumed because of that. So super, super helpful when it comes to making sure you you are getting enough water, you're staying full, you're staying hydrated. Even a one to two percent decline in hydration can affect performance, can affect your cognitive ability, the way you think. It could make you hungry if you're not fully hydrated. So drinking water is so, so important for fat loss. So that is the 10 essential tools that you need for an effective and easy fat loss journey. Again, they are number one, a body weight scale. Number two, a food scale. Number three, a measuring tape. Number four, my fitness pal or any other calorie tracking device. Number five, Fit, a Fitbit or any other type of step or activity tracker. Number six, uh, a meal plan generator like eatthismuch.com. Number seven, an air fryer. Love my Ninja air fryer. <clears throat> number eight, some dumbbells. Number nine, an alarm clock. And number 10, last but not least, a water bottle. Okay. So, hey, there you have it. That is today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you got value from today's episode, please screenshot this tag a friend below. If you screenshot this episode on your phone, put it to your Instagram stories, tag me, let me know that you're tuning in. And I'd love to know how you enjoy these episodes. If you have any feedback, let me know. But until next time, thank you for tuning in. God bless you. And I'll see you again soon. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of the Tandem Talk Show. If you're enjoying the podcast, please feel free to rate, subscribe, and leave a review wherever you listen to your podcasts. We really appreciate that effort. Until next time.